There's a new program inside one of our state prisons that might take you by surprise. Inmates are being taken out of their cells to help children. But as News 10's Nick Monticelli reports, that is more than a good thing. There are a few, shall we say, expectations you may have when visiting a prison. Certain things you'd expect to see, maybe even hear. But if you plan on visiting the old Folsom State Prison, lock your expectations away. We have ink pens, pencils, sharpeners, highlighters, colored pencils. It's almost like a chain gang, but these inmates are much happier than those building a railroad because they say they're building the future. We're providing two supplies for underprivileged kids. Along with 80 others, Joel Silas III spends eight hours a day, not in his cell, but on this production line, making tote bags filled with everything schools and parents can no longer afford. Our production line is producing 1,500 tote bags an hour. A lot of kids out there that can't afford the little essential things like sharpeners and glue sticks, they're getting provided for them. The totes are a project of K2 College. These guys are putting together uh, grade 6 to 12 kits. And a brainchild of Benito Delgado Olson. School districts love it, teachers love it, parents love it. And the students, I mean, it's like Christmas in September when they get them. What they get is a $65 kit for every low-income student in a chosen school district. Right now, donations mainly go to the Bay Area, but Benito hopes to expand through the state, then the country. Where there's a lot of people in school districts, there's a need. And, I mean, that's where this program came from, out of necessity. The project came to prison because of a manpower issue. Even with dedicated volunteers, Benito could not get all these made. So he turned to lawmakers, and this was their solution. It's an everybody win scenario, especially their children. They get a kit too. Because a lot of their dads are incarcerated, so they're not able to provide for their kids. For Joel, he's also giving back to the community he took from. What crime did I commit to yes. get here? Yes. I committed a robbery. Now he is robbing no one and giving to the poor, exceeding all expectations anyone might have. At the Folsom State Prison, Nick Monticelli, News 10. Joel says by the beginning of October, they'll have 150,000 kits to send to area children.